In this video, I'll go through the process to download any SketchUp 3D warehouse model to use as an appliance in Mosaic software. Let's get started. First, let's download a new dishwasher. We'll go to the SketchUp 3D warehouse website and I'll search for a KitchenAid dishwasher. So we've got a lot of options here. Pay attention to the file size since we want to keep this small to help with load times. We'll select the certified product. You can click 3D preview to see the model in 3D before you download it. Everything looks good. We'll click download and download as a SketchUp file. That will send it to your downloads folder. From there, we'll rename it. Now I want to add this under the dishwashers folder in the appliances v12 library. From the downloads folder I select the model we just downloaded and click copy. Now I need to paste this into the appliances v12 product library. If you're not using shared folders this will be in the local C drive in the mosaic folder and under product libraries. Since I am using shared folders I will copy this into my shared product library. Go to the product libraries and appliances v12 and I want to select this products folder and paste it there. Click paste. Now we can close this out. Next we'll go to our libraries, products, and in appliances v12 we'll find the folder that we want to put this dishwasher. Select this folder. I'll right click, hit add, and product. And I'm going to name this dishwasher KitchenAid. Click OK. Now in the type we're going to select appliance and dishwasher and in the info tab I will select use SketchUp model. Now we'll find that model that we just copied in here. So we'll look for dishwasher, KitchenAid. Click OK, hit open, and there you go. Let's click save changes and pull this into our job to see what it looks like. And everything looks good there. So next we'll explore adding an appliance as an insert. Now let's add a microwave to the bottom opening of cabinet number 4 using an insert. First we'll go to the 3D warehouse and download a microwave. This looks like a good one. Let's check this one out. I think that'll work. Let's download that one. We'll go to the downloads and rename it. Now from our downloads folder we need to copy this to our inserts library. And we save that as Gen Air Microwave. Now from the inserts library I'll click on add and I'll name this same as the model we just downloaded. Now you'll see nothing will show up there right now, but we'll select the model that we just downloaded here. And in the scale, let's set all these. So the width is going to be 30. And if we check this back here, it will lock the model to the back of the cabinet. Select OK. Now let's bring it into this cabinet to see what it looks like. Go to the interior tab. Select the bottom opening, 
click inserts and appliance inserts and then I'm going to drag and drop that and it looks pretty good looks like we could have set the model to be at the center of the opening Let's see what that looks like yeah it's a lot better let's go back to the inserts library and fix that we'll check on center here hit ok now let's bring it back in and see what it looks like that's a lot better you can still see that it's off center just a little bit there not sure why that is you can always adjust this now let's save this cabinet to the library so we can use it again click save changes save to the library and now it's been added down here at the bottom so let's delete this and we'll drag that in and you can see that that is automatically added there this also works with refrigerator cabinets and wall ovens so you can see here if I drag the refrigerator in it already has the refrigerator in as an insert if I click the edit tab here and go to the interior You can see it's just a refrigerator that's added as an insert. And you can do the same thing with single or double wall ovens. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll answer as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.